Welcome to race number 20. We're here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So we've now finally reached a halfway point. 10 more races, including this one, will be 11 races. So a race to the chase for the M&M's Cup. Yes, I still call it the chase, even though now they call it the playoffs. Maybe next season. But it doesn't matter. Same thing. Without further ado, let's get this race started! Engines fired up, here we go. Field is rolling off. So here at another Crown Jewel racetrack. Brickyard 400, another race one, I think. And no one has ever one here twice. Today might be a day. Actually, I don't know who has won the Brickyard 400 that's in this field. But of course, we've got to keep an eye on that 77 because I don't think anyone has won the 500 and the 400, the Brickyard 400, in the same season or in their entire career. So we'll see if AJ Green can do that. Of course, there'll be off like 41 other drivers trying to win this thing. Not only just to get the win here yeah, at this historic racetrack, but of course to get a get into the chase. Still, a lot of drivers who have yet to get in. Tony Green, Jamie Scrafton. They start on the front row, hoping to get in. Green has come close many times. So far this season, he has yet to win the race. Today could be the day. Today could be a day for a lot of We don't see how many. I think it's just a three car. And the top ten have only won a race. Sorry, so far. Here we go. We're waiting for the pace car to pull in. Pace car to pit road. Feel this set coming to the line. Get ready for another one of the biggest races of the season. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway here at Indianapolis. Green off to a good start. He clears Jamie off the right off the bat. Simon didn't get a good restart. Jamie quickly dives to the inside line. Side by side for third. Clean off of turn one and two. Down the back switch they go. Watch out for turn three. Let's see how this plays out. So far so good. Everyone gets through. Turn four is alright. Looks like the 22 will lead the first lap. There it is. Or stop completed under green. Four Fords, one Chevrolet in the top five. Ford qualifying well today. Well, contact with the two teammates. Three and 31, and oh, there's trouble. Three goes around, a two slaps the outside wall. So get back out on the racetrack, and the three car goes around again. Talladega winner. Oh, two cars right in the bottom here. Everyone to the outside line. Will this cause another wreck? I hope not. So far so good. Trying to get by the two car on the outside line, the 18. And he does. Three wide at the line. Whoa, oh, and there's contact. More contact. Wow. Stuart got a lot of damage out of that. Uh, first caution of the day, the race leader is the uh, number 22, Tony Green. We'll take a look at the replay. Take a look here, you saw all the way at the back, the teammates. 31 and 3. Cody Smart slides up, one just hit her once into the wall. Bounces right off and caught the two, slams the outside wall pretty hard. Three goes around. Caution of course is out, everything seems alright, comes back out on the racetrack. 
And then he got hit by Matt Scott in the four car. No, no, now it's Justin Acosta. My mistake. This three car goes around again. So two car, three car wreck, but of course we got more, as we just saw. Pretty aggressive coming to the line. Ryan Acosta got a good run. Pushing against the 10 car here. That's for a little bit more. Two cars holding them back as well at the line. Took the 16, got him. And then went right around. Clips to two, two clips to six. Six goes into the wall, slides around into one, back in, front in again. And front again. Keeps on rolling, but that's a lot of damage from the six car. So we'll see how well he fares on the restart. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go, getting ready for the green. Looks like Justin Acosta has pulled behind the wall. So a lot more damage than we thought. That contact with the three. So here we go, getting set. First, re first restart of the race. Pace car to pit rows, we get set for the green. Green flags out, here we go. Great jump for Tony Green once again as he pulls away from the 43. Here comes the 5 car. Henrik still looking for that big break. Halfway through the season, they have yet to score a win. Fisher right now, highest running Henrik, he's hit to win the race. After winning the 500 last season, he misses it this season. So far, it's not been good. Still. Oh, who knows, halfway point curse? Well, it wouldn't be a curse for the 5. Everyone knows that. If you don't know, well, halfway point curse, we've seen this a lot. You always see a driver perform extremely well in the first half of the season. But once they get by the halfway mark, sometimes it happens just a, just before the halfway mark. You can see them slowly declining. And they haven't scored a win yet. Well, they're basically done for. Not exactly done for. But with the new chase, well, I went, well the elimination style chase um, format, if you get a win, you don't even really need to worry. And there's a car on Piro, is that the 10 car? Yeah, it's a 10 car. So trouble for Al. Gets back out there, but he will be put a lap down there. So will we see a halfway point curse? Not a curse for some. Someone like Ramian Fisher might be able to turn this thing around. Well, there's 10 races left to the chase. So we got 10 races to win a race. We're getting on points. Will it fill it all up? Well, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Thirty eight is really falling back. He was in the top five. Now he's just inside the top ten. But Malaganem is in the eleven car. So he drops to the inside. Well, like now who pilots the eleven now. And for drivers like, you know, Malik Nevins, who have to get one win top 25. I don't know if it's possible or not. So they gotta get three wins or more. But three wins is good enough to get into the chase for these drivers. Sam Curtis, who won at New Hampshire, he's somewhere at the back. So they just gotta get two more. Extremely hard, just so I'm gonna have a good, great qualifying session. It looks like we got ourselves a lead change finally. The five car pulls away their drag race and really packed up back here. Tony Green down to third now. Side by side, Tony Green will take it. Got the inside line advantage. Three wide almost. William Brock in the seven. Coley Smart in the 31. 
Here goes the 11, he'll get right by, he pushes the 7 car past the 31. Here comes Kayla Newman in the 21 car. Coca-Cola 600 winner, has anyone? I don't think anyone has won the 600 or the 400 in the same season or ever in their career. I could be wrong on the career part, but never the same season. I don't think so. Gotta look back on that, so maybe Kayla Newman can also make history. Winning two crown jewels. The longest race by distance and the um, historic racetrack the Brickyard whoa the 96 rides Cody up the racetrack and oh trouble he gets turned into the inside wall hard uh, no caution the lights aren't on he gets back on the racetrack he keeps it under control now the caution comes out as we race it back to the line it's our second yellow of the day surprisingly Five car looks like he's gonna lead it. Tony Green right behind him. Matt Delio in third. Jordan Newman fourth. And at the line, it will be the five car. So the yellow flag is out. Ramian Fisher, the race leader, will take a look at the replay. So that ends Cody Smart's day. Another driver who's yet to win a race to get into the chase. Take a look here. I don't know the 96 just dove it in there too hard. Or there's contact. Joseph Curtis. And the 32 and the 30 and the 21 as well, making contact, and went right around. He locks it up, just hits the edge at the safer barrier. You can see back there the ambulance. There was they decided not to throw it out until Smart came back out on the racetrack. Take a look. They're pretty much about to go four wide here until there's a contact that could have been much bigger. Cody Smart, who earlier caused the um, first wreck. He slid right up into his own teammate. Had to bounce off the wall, cut to two, went right around. This time Cody Smart goes around him. He's probably going to head for the garage after that. Wow. Just a single car wreck and that is it. Now you can see the ambulance back there and the truck as our lights go off. And the 31 hits the wall, comes in, no, gets back out on the racetrack. We we're close to getting the uh, keeping it green, but uh, not quite. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green like expected. The Cody, uh, the Cody, uh, the 31, Cody Smart has uh, pulled behind the wall. Two cars so far out of the race, and they got 40 cars remaining. The 10 car being a lap down, 39 cars remaining on the racetrack. Looks like the 95 has made an unscheduled pit stop, 35 seconds off when they crossed the line. So. It'll be behind a three who was actually trailing with the two as well. So here we go, getting ready for the green, waiting for the pace car to pull in. Getting set. Jordan Newman in the 42, we've rarely seen him up front this season. But who knows, today could be today. Halfway point. So a switch. 5, 42, 17. Oh shit. Just bit my lip. So yeah, a lot of drivers running up front looking to get that first win. 98 and the 11, the 32 looking to steal. And a 23 back there. He's 11, I think. No, 12. Three wide, three wide. Hang on to it. Cody moves to fourth. Or, yeah, fourth. Jimmy Scrafton now battling him. Tony gets around on the outside line. Jamie will fall in line. Matt Dalio now falls out of the top five. William Brock goes right by him. He'll take sixth. All over the back bumper. Three drivers. who are yet to win it. Go over the bumps down the back stretch. Tony Green not going to make a move. There he goes into turn three. Side by side for the race leads, but only been these two who have won a race. Uh, not won a race, has led laps. Newman in the 42 has yet to lead a single lap this season. Drag race, look how quickly these two guys have really caught up. It's going to be like a 
eight car battle for the race win. We'll make that nine. Newman falls back, Jamie pulls the third, William Brock now enters the top five. Matt Dillio now goes by, he'll get back in the five. Kind of racing hard, we see three Gibbs cars. All in the same place. Oh, little contact there. Nevins knocks Jamie out of the groove. He's going to lose a lot of spots. Oh, contact with the 20. 78 dives to the bottom. Trying to take advantage of that. Can't quite do it. He calls the 32, John Arnett. The 98, Joey, DJ Curtis, Taylor Acosta, Alfred Green. That's your top 15. They're racing really hard here. Remember, we get a caution. We'll get a green white checker. This ain't, ain't over. Twenty-two is back in it. Five left. The last one. William Brock is on a mission here. Remember that team won it with a different driver. They won the championship. As they look to the inside, whoa! Really slides up behind them. What a risky move. Didn't even looks like he didn't even think think twice. Just went right up. So he remains in second here, right behind the twenty-two. Fisher getting the draft off of them. Matt Daly on the 17th, 4th, Nevins up to 5th. They've calmed down back here. Alfred Green goes right by the 42. So here's Simon, who's fall back from the beginning of the race. He was up front. But now he's fallen all the way down to the top 20. Top 15, top 20, yeah. Ops winding down. It's still pretty much anyone's race who's still out there. William Brock. Has taken it. Be the third different leader today. Only three. These two are pulling away. They're drag racing for third. Back to single file. Three to go here. Two to go. Tax time live. Obviously. Hey, they could still happen here. Who knows? Maybe someone will spin out on purpose. Might get a caution. Get green white check it. Oh, there it is! Caution! And there it is! 196.95! Whoa! This ain't over. So a late caution, third of the day. And this is try to get to the lead here. Who's gonna lead him? You'll get the inside line. So at the yellow flag, the 19 with the run, trying to push the five. Note William Brock is gonna get him. Got a great run off of four. Cleared him. He didn't even have anyone to push. So the yellow flag is out. This is not over. Not at all. So remember, we will let them finish the scheduled distance under the yellow flag. Then they'll restart double file. So the 10 car would get a lap back from this. And it looks like that was a big wreck here. It looks like it. Well, sort of. So the yellow is out. Two laps to go. Just making noises now. We'll take a look at the replay. Here it is, Chris Kyle and Joseph Curtis once again involved in this one. Don't think it was his fault. Kyle overdrives the corner trying to clear Joseph. Not gonna work. Straight for the wall, both of them, and the one car tips right over. Upside down he goes. Flies into the air. And it looks like he goes over for another one. Nope. On two wheels. Yeah, no, there's a contact from uh, Jasmine Acosta. I saw a brief puff of smoke and went right away. And Joe Jefferson, on number 95, was all the way back there. Gets right to Chris Kyle. One car goes for a wild ride once again. Spins right around. So a three, four car wreck. Changes everything here. Green, white, checkered here at the Brickyard. Should be interesting. This is one of the biggest races of the season. Not only that, to get into the chase, of course. So, uh, we'll uh, let them finish under the scheduled distance. Then we'll head on to the green, white, checkered. One attempt only, no cautions. So here they are. They've just exited turn two here.
95 is pulled behind the wall. 1 and 96 will be next. 47, Jasmine Acosta. Well, it's the second time this season we've seen someone, um, like really getting that car fixed up. Matt Dalio in the All Star race. Um, he, um, he had, uh, had smoke coming out of that car, right? He had smoke coming out of the car. Team got a fix, but when they restarted the race, car blew up again. So, we'll see. What will happen to the 47s? Okay, those guys are parked. It is going to take a while to get everything set up. Good thing I've already done one attempt. Because, out of the Atlanta race, we still had a lot of cars left. Oh my god, having to reset the field three times. And then finally I decided, well, not throw the caution out. So here they come, off of four. William Brock is the leader. He would win this race, but under the older rules, but now we got the green white checkered. It ain't over till it's over. So they'll throw the checkered signaling that this race, that the schedule distance is complete. So William Brock will lead him. Fisher will be second on the outside row. So Tony Green the third, Isaac will get fourth, and Nevins will be on fifth. Jamie sixth, Cody seventh, John eighth, DJ ninth, and Matt Dalio tenth. Away from the cross the line. Lights are off, they're all across the line. Okay. Here we go. Green white checker time. One attempt and one attempt only. So here we go. One and only attempt at a green white checker. The clouds have moved. And uh, we're now sunny. Sunny here at um now Indianapolis. So let's see here. One attempt, two laps. William Brock, Raymond Fisher, Tony Green all need to win. Jamie Scrafton, Alec Nevins, you know, Isaac trying to go for win number two. Alec Nevins will try to catch one win. Still have a chance to chase these guys. Cody Evans, Matt Dalio, John Arnett there, DJ Curtis. Here we go, getting ready for the green. And it looks like the 75 has problems, he dives down a pep road. We get set. Green flag is out, here we go. Who's going to win it? Five car crosses the line by Willby William Brock. Tony Green giving him a great shove. And oh, he almost turned him, he's into the grass. But that allowed the five to run the outside line. Get right by and it does. Dives to the inside. William Brock has trouble getting going. Oh no, trouble. There goes the 43 into the into the wall. Big wreck. Big wreck behind them. 38's flipping. Big wreck right behind. We stay green. Oh, trouble. 19 and the 7. Into the outside. No, inside wall. Back in front of traffic. Oh, here we go. Cody Evans. Tony Newman. No, Tony Newman got it through. The 23 is involved. Fisher is clear. He is clear, but he's still got to make one more lap. Insane restart. Nevins to the inside line. Tony Green to second. Stay single file. Stay single file. We want to catch that five car. Here we go. Three wide. Uh, that's what the five car wants to see here. Unless they can get by. Well, they got by the um, 22, but they're still side by side. There is the 75. I don't think they'll catch him, though. I don't think they'll catch him at all. DJ Curtis, battle for second. Five car is clear. Off of turn four. Damn it, I hit my lip again. Checkered flag is out. And Raymond Fisher is going to do it. He'll win it at Indianapolis. So he'll add the Brickyard 400 to his list. First of the season. God finally got one. And that also ends Henrik's dry spell. DJ Kerr is able to get second. Malik Nevins gets third. And I think Tony Green finishing fourth. And Alfred Green fifth. Kalen Newman sixth. Points leader entering the race. There's the rest of the field. And what a wild restart that was. William Brock who was the leader. He led them. At the line and looks like he'll finish 24th. Look at all these wrecked race cars. What? Unbelievable. What a finish. What a race that was at the end. 
a good race overall actually. So it's not a bad race and good finish. It's a good race and good finish. We'll take a look at the four races also and of course we'll take a look at the racks after. So here it is. Uh, full race results, Ramian Fisher, DJ Curtis, Malik Nemans, Tony Green, Alfred Green, that's your top five. Killer Newman, Tony Newman, Matt Delio, Taylor Acosta, Jordan Newman, their top ten. Here's the rest of the race results, plus the rest. I uh, had a quick glance at that at the um, before this thing all started. I probably would just add that right after we go to victory lane and before the um uh, show you those point standings. So there's the full race results. So are the ones that are in the race still. And we got to take a look at that. So here they are, off to the green. You know, Fisher, uh, William Brock's bad restart. Well, it didn't look that bad. He, Fisher just edged him out at the line. But Tony Green got one hell of a restart. He's pushing him. He's pushing. It's time to go. You can't wait any longer. So he looks to the inside. And he caught Tony, uh, not Tony, uh, William Brock, down to the grass. Lost all the momentum. Momentum. Fisher jumps outside. He's on the outside. He doesn't jump outside. Takes advantage and look at that. He stacks up the field like that. Not his fault. Tony Green did put him in the grass. And where did this wreck all started? Right here. Yeah, these are getting impatient. It's like a f seven car tango right here. They're all pushing, they're shoving, and when they push too hard, someone's bound to get out of line. And that's what happened to Cody Evans in the 20 car. He slides up, he gets pushed out. James Crafton and John Honor go up against the wall. This wouldn't be, they wouldn't throw a caution for this until right there. There they go. And they actually wreck. Simon the 38 goes upside down. He tumbles down the backstretch. Lots of cars collected. 38 going for a ride. It's our second car. Upside down. Wow. Crazy. The 10 who just got the lap back. Gets involved as well. A couple of others as well. But we're not done. We ain't done. And I don't know how this happened. But William Brock and Isaac in the 19. They're neck and neck for second place here. They're leaning against each other. They cut right across Tony Green. He almost got involved. He slams the inside wall hard. So does the 19. He cuts some air. Get back out on the racetrack. And Tony Newman. So close. Watch 19. Watch 19. Look at this. Whoa. And William Brock gets launched into the catch rounds. He doesn't go fully over. He goes on his side. Well, did he go fully over? I didn't fully see. We have the race to watch right here. No time to review those wrecks. Well, now we do. Cody goes down, he got collected in both wrecks. William Brooks rides the wall. And it looks like he did go fully over. And yep, car lays off the race, the wall. And no, there's a six who comes out of nowhere. So three cars upside down. There's a 19. Look go, looks like he's going for a tumble. Wow. Now here comes the 55 coming in hot. William Brock not done wrecking. Wow, there's still like a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of cars still behind. Didn't even notice. How does Stewart get involved? I definitely got the 20 car. Almost avoided it. Missed the 19 though. But the 55 New Hampshire winner. He got Cody. J. Jefferson, I believe, avoided it and gets right into the seven. If the seven, I think, if he was, I guess a bit. Oh, we got more. A bit more on the edge of the tires. I think he would get launched into the fence. Hayden, Jasmine, Eli, Bright, John, holy shit, no, Jeff. The 10, oh my god, they're still wrecking, they're wrecking everywhere. It's Brickyard 400, guys, gotta go. Now, all this started from a bad, from the, from the front. The race leader had problems getting going. My god. Wow. What a race that was! That was crazy. They didn't. They only. There was only three cautions. They barely wrecked. There was only five cars that were out of the race before all the green, white, checkered, and now everyone wrecks. At least half the field, three quarters. Now they could have had a chance to catch Fisher if Nevins did not make a move. I thought Tony Green cleared him, but he did not. DJ Curtis said, "Fuck it, go three wide." 
you know, get second, you got second out of that. So yeah, there you have it. So Ramian Fisher wins it. Uh, he'll earn his spot into the chase. Here's the rest of the race results once again. We'll now take you to victory lane.